Hey, welcome back to another episode of Travel Ball Talk. Today, heading down to to the Sunshine State to visit with my new friend, Ranjit Young. Uh, Coach Young uh, is running, started up very recently, the Tampa Skyhawks. Coach Young, welcome to uh, Travel Ball Talk. How you doing, my man? Uh, wonderful. Thanks for having me. You you got it, man. You got it. I, I tell you, I did a little Googling, found some... Found some tough looking photos of you in uniform. Uh, found a c- couple other. Looks like some other folks have had you on some conversations, um, uh, YouTube videos and whatnot. So some some good stuff. But I'm anxious to learn a little bit about you. I know we're on a time crunch, so we're gonna we're gonna move quick. Okay, so let's get right into it. I want to give you the mic and and let you introduce yourself and go ahead and introduce the Tampa Skyhawks to our listeners. Yes, absolutely. Again, um, my name is Randy Young. Um, I just prefer everyone to just call me Coach Young because sometimes my first name is hard to pronounce. But um, but with that being said, yes, I uh, started and founded the Tampa Skyhawks uh, last year, actually. Um, the, the group of 18-year-olds, I uh, had about 16 guys who uh, trusted and believed uh, in my process and decided to roll with me for a summer. Um, started with them. We ended the summer last year, 18 and 6. And this year, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it again. We had so much fun. You know, I just wanted to trickle this uh, fun on down and this energy down to everybody else. So um, we uh, started a, a 12U. Actually, my uh, counterpart, uh, Michael Burgess, um, who's in a tournament right now in the USSA Global World Series. They're playing a game at this moment. But he had a 12-year-old, and he said, hey, look, man, I want to start my own. But you know what? I think we just need to combine forces. I said, like, let's go. Let's get it. Let's yeah. go. Let's have some fun. <laughs> and uh, we came together, and we started running the 12-year-olds, and the 12-year-olds became excited to um, play and watch. And then phone calls just came left and right from there. I do trainings on the side, and then next thing I know, I have a couple teams, uh, 18, have a – Three eighteens, two sixteens, a twelve, and now we have a fourteen. That's amazing. So, in, in literally in one year's time, you're you, you've already got. I, I didn't count it up when you listed it off, but it sounds like six, seven teams just like that. So, you must be striking a nerve. That's uh, that that people want to jump on and and uh, and, and kind of kind of kind of wear that Skyhawks uh, that logo on their on their head. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say strike a nerve they just see the fun and, and like the, the young folks say uh catching that vibe hey that that part of florida has a lot of baseball um and and, and there's also you know we're I, when i talked to you the other day i pulled out the map um you know there's a lot of water surrounding you can you describe people kind of that that neighborhood where you are and where most of your players come from because you got Tampa, you got St. Pete, you got you got Bradenton, you got a whole bunch of water and a whole bunch of bridges. Can you describe where you are and and where most of your folks are coming from? Yes, I am right there on the coast. Um right there on the edge of Florida and Tampa. Um so a lot of my players um they come from the surrounding area. Uh, I'm located in the town and country area. Um, I'm like one exit before you get over into uh, St. Pete into Clearwater. So I live literally right there off the exit. Um, but uh, I also have players from Polk County, to be honest with you. I have five players from Lake Wales in the Polk County area, um, one player from Plant City, one or two players, and one player from um, Lakeland across the county. Also, I uh, have a player from Largo and area got it got it coach young i know we're on a time crunch today so you know i've been um been the last few episodes of this i've had the standard five questions those questions usually lead to more questions so i i would say at this point let's just open those questions up and see where it leads us does that sound all right it's on our wing. All right, let's see. Uh, first question. This is a softball, a little soft toss for you, okay? What book should every coach read? Okay, a book. Now, this question for me, mm, I'm not a reader. Okay? That's okay. I'm more... I'm more of a listener. Okay. I, you know, we have different ways of learning. No doubt. Uh, I'm auditory type of guy, but... 
my guy that I suggest everyone should listen to is Inky Johnson. Absolutely. He is, he is a great motivator, and I'm the type of person that I like the mystery of different things and when he speaks stuff it's like a puzzle but it's like i got it I, that made a lot of sense yeah 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 and he's he uh speaks a lot of truth he he's a guy who who it's kind of funny you see him the baseball people share him the non-baseball people share him you you know that's that's when i can tell that he's gotten big is when you see the people over on your your personal Facebook who have nothing to do with baseball or even anything to do with sports, they're sharing his message. So that, that, uh, Inky's definitely spreading some, uh, some love and positivity, man. I like that guy. I like that guy. Good, 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 good call on, uh, on the Inky, um, recommendation. All right. Two, what regret or failure changed the way you coach for the better? Um, one the one big thing that um I kind of beat myself up on um is that I lost a lot of the weight at the end of my career of having fun, yeah. which is why I'm big on energy and having fun. The one thing that made the the young men even myself fall in love with this game because it was first fun hundred percent i I regret losing that in touch with having fun with the game. Yeah. Do you, do you see kids? And let me rephrase: When you see a kid who looks like maybe he's either not having fun in in the moment or losing the fun in the sport, what do you say to that guy? What do you do? What do you what do you try to? How do you try to approach that kid? I, I approach that kid with energy. Yeah. Energy. I feel like, or oh, how they say it now, the vibe. I try to throw off that vibe, and I'm I'm big on that. Like, I really think if I if I come with positive, my positive is so strong. I feel like it'll jump off on the next person. I love it. I can there's, feel, there's, I can feel it through the phone right now, Coach. Absolutely. And what you're feeling through the phone is just my passion yeah. of what I'm doing. I, I love what I'm doing, and I just want everybody to to. Feel that passion. I just believe in uh, smiling. What made me believe in smiling every day is because I was working at Popeye's. Popeye's chicken, and I was in the drive-thru. <laughs> and a young lady pulled in the drive-thru, and I smiled at her. And it wasn't because I was flirting. I was just giving a good customer service. Sure, maybe. And... We might have been flirting, but that's maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or or but like my, you said my, I'll, I'll let you tell your version though go ahead right <laughs> but it was my energy the energy that i had i was feeling good that day and i turned around and smiled yes ma'am how can i help you and she stopped me she said thank you for that I said, ma'am what she said thank you for your smile because i needed it yeah. so from that point on i say smile because you never know who needs to borrow it Hundred percent. So I love the same it. way, that energy, I love to hear. Takes my energy. I got plenty of it. No kidding. No kidding. Mm-hmm. Let Let me ask you a baseball question now. What What's uh, y- you know, your guys are mostly within easy easy range of where you are. The, you know, they're not spread all over the country. Uh, how many midweek practices are you guys able to run? And do you do these as team practices or are they individual workouts? How do you guys uh, approach that? Yes. Yeah, so uh, since COVID, it's been kind of tough and rough to get a field um, in the area. Um, one, there's so many travel ball organizations that's around, and there's so many uh, fields that are taken up by them. And then there's also uh, a lot of fields, too, that are like, no, we want to stay away from the Trevor Ball teams because it's taken away from our little leagues, which I I understand and I get. So um, we're limited to uh, one midweek practice on Friday nights at 630. And so, too, because I also have a nine to five job, so I don't get off until 530 and I can make it to the field, you know, through traffic by 630 and we practice for 
thirty to eight. So what we'll do is um, we'll have that one midweek practice, and we'll have all the coaches from the sixteens and the eighteen teams will come together, and it works out perfect. We're able to get great work in in two hours span with all those teams on the field. Uh, we'll get there. We'll exercise. We'll group exercise. We'll throw together, and then we'll break off into uh, individual defense. So each coach specializes in something. I I kind of do infield and outfield. So I play both. Um, pitching is not my thing, but we do have a pitching coach. So the pitchers will break off there, um, and then I'll break off with either the outfielders. If I have some kind of big idea to do with the um, outfielders, I'll break off with them or the infielders, and the catchers will go off with another coach. So we'll have one midweek practice, and then uh, we also have a uh, facility, um, my friend, my counterpart, um, uh, Mike Burgess, he has a little small hitting facility. We'll do that during the week um, on Tuesdays. Nice, nice. So so you're mixing in plenty of work, it sounds like. That's correct. All right, let me ask you. You've just gone through this uh, yourself within the last 12 to 18 months. What's the one piece of advice you'd give someone that's just starting a travel ball organization? Yes, the one, the one big piece uh, is to make sure you have – committed players make sure you get in touch and build a relationship with those guys and understand hey look i need you 100 percent in i need you to trust this process i need you to be here hey we have a game here in fort myers for a perfect game we'll be able to make it there um i've been finding that uh problem here um the first thing in travel ball is travel So my biggest issue lately is having guys that are able to travel uh, a certain amount of distance. Mm -hmm. Um, So make sure you have uh, committed players um, because you don't want to spend your time or your weeks like me looking for, um, you know, guest players. So make sure you have those 100% committed players. And also to, um, I I would definitely say just, honest and transparent um i would keep it as a memo with teams i definitely would yeah good 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 all right um how let me ask you how do you how are you able to sort of before you bring a guy on to the organization how are you able to to get the vibe if he's going to be committed or not because they can talk a big game and then all of a sudden they stop showing up or they've got you know they've got uh suddenly have other things to do like you know how do you how do you walk that fine line how can you tell yes so uh me personally um i like to uh build relationships um i like for a person to feel like a member and not a number Mm -hmm. um i don't want anybody to ever feel like oh he just want me here because you want me to pay for it no that's never that i'm trying to build a relationship with your your player and the parents also because I tell my boys that, hey, look, I, I, you got me for life. Once a coach, I'm always coach. You have me for life. So you move on, you, you get a job at McDonald's, guess what? I'm still coach. Mm-hmm. I can help you coach you for life. If you move on, you go to college, I'm still coach. I'll help you get through your college process. I'll show you, I'll teach you how to, I'll coach you how to make ramen noodles, you know? <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is. So I'm big on building that relationship and constant communication with them. That's the that's the big thing. Constant communication with them and staying in contact, that's the biggest thing. And that's how I get the vibe of, hey, look, he's connected with me and he's going to follow me through the season. Love it. Love it. Last question for you, and this may open up a bunch of more questions, but if I gave you the magic wand, what one change do you think could be made to travel baseball that would have the biggest positive impact? Uh, the magic wand, the magic wand, thank you for giving it to me, is I think that with all these travel ball organizations, um, let's not be against each other. Mm. I'm not saying that they all are, Mm -hmm. but let's all remember we're in this together Mm -hmm. and we have one common goal. Mm -hmm. And that goal is to make sure we see these young men 
to the next level. The next level may be draft pick. The next level may be um, college. And I, like I just say, the next level for that person might be a job. Yeah, might might be selling cars down at the lot. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's not forget we are here to to save lives, to change lives. Let's all work together. I know we're different in teams or the names and the mascots, mm-hmm. so what, but let's all uh, put our minds together and stick together and say, hey, look, yeah. we're here for one common goal, and that's to make sure these boys get where they need to go. I love it. I love it because at mm-hmm. the end of the day, these kids, man, these kids are going to be running the country here not in not too distant in the future. That is correct. So, man, I love it. You know what? I absolutely love that we got so much positivity uh, and information out of you in such a short amount of time. Let me, um, let me, let me just ask you: do, you: do you have any parting words? Anything you want to get off your chest to to coaches who might be listening right now? And then we'll and then we'll wrap up. Um, nothing really, guys. I just want to make sure all the coaches, hey, stay focused. Make sure you get these guys wherever they need to go. Um, stay positive. Um, make sure they understand that, that fun is where it first came from. And uh, let's go out there. Let's go and win some games and not only let let's let's change some lives. Let's go. Love it, Coach. Don't hang up. I love it. I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna hit stop on the record. And this was beautiful. Thank yes, you. Sir.